Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The Honorable Ma'am Dian Erlina as a lecturer in the morphology course and all of our beloved friends. We are from Group 10. There are Hai Riyatun Hosnul Hotimah and me, Lucy Pebrianti. In this video, we will discuss about interface between morphology and phonology. Okay, for the first presenter is me. I will explain the definition of morphology and phonology first. Definition of morphology. Morphology is the study of words, how they are, how they are formed and their relationship to other words in the same language. It analyzes the structure of words and part of words such as such as themes, root words, prefix and suffix. And then phonology Phonology is a branch of linguistic that study how language or dialogue systematically organize their sounds. Next. Interface between morphology and phonology. Morphological and phonological process are tightly interrelated in spoken production. During processing, morphological process must combine the phonological content of individual morphemes to produce a phonological representation that is suitable for driving phonological processing. Next, morpheme integration and phonological processing. In spoken production, there is an intimate link between morphological and phonological processing. First and foremost, the output of phonological operation serves as the input to phonological process. When morphological process combine lexical representation morphemes to form a multimorphemic word, The constituent sounds must also be combined in such a way that the resulting phonological representation is suitable for driving spoken production. For example, once the morphemes cat and s have been selected, the phoneme sequence cat and s must be combined into cats in order in order to allow sequence phonological processing to take place. Next. Second is because the combin combination of morphemes frequently result in the creation of new phonological environments that vary in how well they conform to universal and language language specific phonological constraints. In many cases, the phonological environment created by combining morphemes must be overly modified by the phonology in order to save. Sub display a language phonological contraction. For example, a fixation in English frequently requires the phonological content of morphemes to be recyclable in order to create optimal syllables. For example, fine plus ing to be finding. Okay, that's all for my for my material. For the next material will be explained by Hayriatun. For Hayriatun time is yours. Okay, okay, thank you for moderator. Here I will explain about morphophonological deficit. The two aspects of the relationship between morphology and phonology outline above the fact that morphological processes stitch together representation that phonological processes must act over and the fact that the combined morphemes frequently create change in phonological well-formedness, that phonological processes are sensitive to raise the possibility of impairment that are specific to the interface of morphology and phonology. Lexical phonological processes are morpheme-based and involve the retrieval of the phonological representation of morphemes and their assembly. This phonological representation then serve as input into a series of post-lexical processes. Collectively, 
Post lexical processes are responsible for preparing a word's phonological form for production. Theories of spoken production typically hold that post lexical processing involves at least two types of processing. Phonological retrieval or encoding, where processing occurs primarily over segmental representation, and phonetic encoding, where processing occurs primarily over articulatory gestures. The post-lexical stage is also thought to encompass processes based in the phonological grammar, which make any adjustments that are allowed by the language in order to maximize phonological well-formedness. Morphophonological processing involves computing those aspects of a word's phonological form that relate to its morphological structure. As such, errors resulting from a morphological impairment should A. Primarily involve sound as opposed to whole, to whole morphemes B. Be influenced by the complexity of or markedness of the phonological impairment that result from combining the morphemes for example, consonant cluster or metrical patterns create through affixation or compounding. C. At least under certain condition, error should reduce complexity or magnus of the response relative to that of the tar target structure. A morphophonological impairment could arise as a result of two complementary patterns of impairment. A. Impaired lexical processing with intact post lexical processing. B. Intact lexical processing with impaired post lexical processing. Okay, that's all more, uh, about my material. Back to the moderator. Okay, thank you for hiring Atun. All right, that's all the material explanation for group 10. There is a question that friends can do from the PPT that we have prepared. Uh, okay, thank you for your watching and thank you for your attention. I end this presentation. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.